All right, Scorpio, what is going on, Matias? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Vera. It is Scorpio, right? It's terrible. I am back at it again for the remix. This is a bonus reading for my Scorpios for November. When I am trying to tell y'all, I promised my collective because I was doing my morning slide. If y'all don't see me when I do my morning slide, for my little collective little morning chat group. I promised y'all that I was going to redo the Scorpio video. I was going to leave the original. But I was going to do a bonus one. Because the energy that was in that reading was wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Only doing some bad thoughts. Because I don't know. It was wow, wow, wow. Bitch. I, like, I had to sit with that energy. I was like that reading was just crazy. It was extra crazy. So I was like I'm going to come back and I'm going to redo another the video just in case that energy did not resonate with everybody because it's no way that that resonated with everybody so i am here my dear without fear so i'm not gonna do no whole big intro if you would like to book a reading with me or send any type of support or love to the page check out the, the description and the about tab for this video very quick prayer father god please keep your hands over my scorpios and keep us covered throughout this season and every season throughout the rest of our life amen let's get into this reading okay let's get into the thing <laughs> all right i'm gonna do like three more shuffles and we bought the ladies cards down and we about to get this out because i have tried to record this video several times and i'm ready for it to get out okay all right one more Good. One more. Oh, oh, oh my gracious. Why are these up? All right, now, boom. All right, all right. Let's use these Herb Crafter Tarot cards to clarify the energy. Okay, so I got to tell you what just came out with the, the last time I just tried to record, but I ended up scrapping it because someone interrupted the video. Um, in the Herb Practice Tarot, you got the Ten of Fire, and it was saying something about, God, I forgot what the, the, the herb was called, or the, it was like an invasive plant. It was an invasive plant, and... I started talking to you guys about being careful of planting like mints and strawberries and stuff in your yard because we all love mint and we all love strawberries, but they are they are an invasive plant. It will create runners and it will spread all over your yard and it would take over your whole fucking yard and you will regret having planted them at all in your yard. So um, what that's basically warning us about is, and then it's also it was also warning you about exhaustion like overworking yourself doing too much trying to um like trying to carry the load by yourself when you shouldn't have to you know what i'm saying so what that car was basically saying like be careful of what you place in before your feet because it could take over and it can burden you you know what i'm saying more than you would ever think you know what i'm saying you just want to plant a uh, one strawberry and have strawberry and strawberries in your yard every season you know what i'm saying oh and then that was the other warning um was that that plant or whatever it is even if you chop it back real good like you could take a a a, a, a siphon machete something cut all of it down cut all of it down that shit's still gonna grow back every year so it's like if you're going to have something like that in your life, you got to be prepared and be knowledgeable what you're planting in your yard. And you got to maintain it because if you don't, if you don't pay attention, it could become a fucking nightmare. And it could be way more of a problem than what you ever thought, you know. So it's like pay attention to what you are um, doing. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you study it what you're planting, what you're getting yourself involved in, because something so simple as one strawberry, you just want in your own strawberries that you go in your yard and pick every year could create an absolute nightmare for you and you wish that you never planted it and it make you never want to eat strawberries ever again because of that 
bitch. We got the three of swords and then the ace of swords. So it's like you getting clarity and truth about some separation that's going on in your life. Because right now, like, I really do feel like the three of swords, when it comes out for Scorpio, that means one of two things. Either you going to listen. They're saying, like, either you going to get down or lay down. It's like, this is, okay. Get down and lay down is something that's like forced on you, right? You either gonna get down with the squad or you gonna lay down. I'm gonna make you lay down, right? So this is a type of thing where it's saying to me it's like you have the choice, you have the option to either get down or lay down. You know what I'm saying? Like either you gonna get down with the cause or you gonna lay down and fall for anything. You already know that it's something that kind of spoiled your party or something like that. I feel like it's something because this is your birthday. This is a birthday cake. Like this is a fucking birthday cake. It's your birthday. Are y'all like get down or lay down? <laughs> Are you the one that is doing it? Are you the one that's doing this? Because I just heard it's my party. I could cry if I want to. I, I like I, I could shut this shit down. I could fuck this shit. I could fuck the party up if I want to. Like, this is my shit. I could do what the fuck I want to. Like, I'm kind of getting here that. Because what they're saying, get down to lay down. I feel like that's the Scorpio doing this shit. That is most definitely the Scorpio doing this shit. I feel like, and I'm getting the male energy too. I don't. It's like, I'm sorry I don't mean to rain on your parade, but, like, this is my party. I invited both of my friends. I wanted both of them to be here. This the truth. Either you gonna get down or lay down. I, I feel, like, I'm sorry. Like, it, I feel like it was someone's birthday party or it's gonna be someone's birthday party. And I want to say that Scorpio is intentionally causing drama. Because they just want the truth to come out. It's like, I want you two to both know about each other. I'm not even about to sit here and be sneaking around and doing a whole bunch of rigmarole. Like, listen, it's my party. I hate to rain on both of y'all parades. I know both of y'all thought y'all was the one. But shit, bitch, we the one. Okay? We the best. Like, what the fuck is going on outside? Really? Right now? All that noise? Why am I getting this with y'all, Scorpio? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's like... Ooh, y'all know what song I'm hearing? I want him. I want you. I like him. And I like him too. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Y'all know that song? I like him. I like you. I like him. And I like him too. That's my man. That's my boo. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, y'all... <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all just in some like player play from the Himalaya ass shit right now? I feel like this is someone that got two different options and they're not hiding it from nobody. It's like, listen, it's my party. It's like Burger King. I'm the king. I want it my way. Like, why the hell am I going to keep going through all of this drama? Having to pick and choose when we all can be friends. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, I hope, listen, let me just pull out these other cards and see what other type of bullshitty is going on. But I'm serious. I really do feel like get down or lay down. I'm putting it out there. I'm being very blunt about it. I'm telling you the truth. I know that this may hurt your heart, but I'm single. I can date who I want. It's my party. Fuck this shit, bitches. It's a celebration. Like, what the... What's the point of crying for? You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I'm single. Y'all, let me see what the fuck this is. Look. <laughs> oh, M G. This is someone seeing something or getting some news online. I don't know if they're being told this shit online. If they're finding out about a third party situation or something, they're finding out the truth. By looking at some shit online. Because someone posted it. They don't want it to be a secret no more. I like him. I like you. I like him. And I like him too. That's my man. That's my boo. Okay, listen. That's my man. That's my boo. <laughs> I like him. I like you. That's my man. And that's my boo. 
Yes! Scorpio! Scorpio! <laughs> Scorpio said that y'all want to play? Say hello to my little friend. Okay, say. <laughs> Scorpio said, listen. Y'all want to play play and shit, huh? Okay? <laughs> Ooh, I got to see what's going straight down here in the middle. Forget who you are. This says forget who you are, you guys. Forget who you are. This says conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. But this was in the reverse. I'm really feeling like you forgetting who you who you been recently and going back to who the fuck you was in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you might have discovered some type of newfound conditioning or something that you would turn into and now you're going back to what you originally used to be or something because conditioning because you got to remember you can recondition yourself to a new way of thinking a new structure a new routine all the time like you can always recondition yourself i honestly feel like for a minute scorpio y'all kind of forgot who the fuck you really are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for real, for real, I'm a player from the Himalayas. Like, I, I'm not the one to be fucked around with. I'll just be trying to be on some chill, baby, chill shit. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? You must have forgot who the fuck I am, okay? Let me remind... Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hove. H to the O-V. I used to move slow flakes by the O-Z. And even back then, they used to call me H-O-V to the fucking Hove, bitch. Hold on. Did you forget who the fuck is Scorpio? Did you forget who you really are? Who you really, really, really are? Did you change yourself recently? You understand? And you conditioned yourself to this nice, you know what I'm saying? You trying to be the nice guy. You try, hello to the bad guy. Hello to, to the bad guy. <laughs> hello, uh, 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 hello, uh, uh, uh. Y'all know why is Jay-Z in the building today? Hello to the bad guy. Look at her face. Say hello to the bad guy. Hello, hello to the bad guy. I'm <laughs> serious. I feel like Scorpio is tired of playing. I feel like Scorpio has been playing the nice guy for far too long. I'm not... Look, they said it's the truth. It's the truth. And it's not that Scorpio is trying to be a bad guy or anything. But I feel like a lot of people have been giving Scorpio a motherfucking headache. Do you understand? You've been coming a motherfucking problem. You a motherfucking problem, bitch. And it's like, why can't I have options? Why can't I bring sand to the beach and enjoy the beach at the fucking sands? Okay? I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? Like, listen. <sighs> I don't know. The four of hearts in the reverse. I don't feel like Scorpio is looking for love right now. I really don't. I feel like Scorpio has done away with trying to look for love. I feel like it's a headache. And I feel like social media has made dating a headache for like everyone it's like i feel like everyone forgot who the fuck they are i feel like everyone is really not in a true search and communicating with each other for love people just want to fuck so if that's what we doing that's what we doing i want him i want you i want him and i want him too that's my man that's my boo okay hello to the bad guy oh i i, I do this shit the baddest okay okay what is drake <laughs> I do this shit in the worst way, okay? Hold on, huh? motherfuckers didn't love us. <laughs> yes! Shit. Niggas still playing my old shit. Hold on. <laughs> I'm on my worst behavior. No? If you don't know, you know now. <laughs> motherfuckers didn't love us. <laughs> I'm so serious. Ooh, y'all is really on it. Oh, y'all are on it right now. I love it. It says, from the queen, an, in an invitation for the duchess to play croquet. So you got, from the queen, an, invita an invitation from the duchess 
for the Duchess to play croquet. I, I don't. The four, the four of hearts means like, um, it honestly means sex. It, it literally means like, um, the four post of a bed. You know what I'm saying? Like love making, intimacy, passion, desire, um, like a very comp, like, like, um, uh, ooh. To me, it just mean fucking, but let me, <laughs> let me give y'all some more in, in text <laughs> instead of my nasty mind. The four of hearts mean emotional stability. It means partnership, marriage, the four posts of a marriage bed, physical union, sexual contact, the relationship between two people, a return of a lover, mending of a broken friendship, a party, having fun, a bed, a sofa, a comfortable chair. I told y'all it's your fucking party, bitch. Y'all be, it's your fucking party. It is your party. Do you understand? And I really, like I said, you may be inviting people that you've been fucking at the moment and you might not. Remember, it said like a party, having fun, a bed, a sofa, a comfortable chair. This might be uncomfortable. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> this might be uncomfortable. Um, I really feel like... I, 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 I don't feel like you want to keep secrets anymore. You want it to be out. You want everyone to know the truth. I'm dating you and I'm dating you. I feel like online dating has been a fucking nightmare. And it may be knocking two birds. Because Scorpio is petty like that. Like, knocking two birds out of one stone. It's my birthday party. I'm going to invite both of my bitches. And I'm going to show love to both of them in front of each other. And see which one stick around. I kind of feel like both of them is still going to stick around. Because they're going to fight for a position. God, Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me! What is this? The six of air, the cat tail. So the six of air, that is like moving away. I'm trying to tell you, why do I feel like Scorpio is doing some petty shit? Like he... Just want everybody to know the truth. And if you want to stick around, you're going to stick around. But really, y'all bitches can all go for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. I do feel like there's been, like, some online fucking headache between a third-party situation. I feel like this is an individual. It could very much so be a female. Because I've been saying, I want him, I want you, I like him, and I like him too. It could be a woman that... I don't feel I don't feel under no circumstances. I feel like she might have liked the people in the I just I, I honestly I just feel like this, this this woman is not looking for love. Um she's just not looking for love. I don't know what happened. Why she doesn't want Cause like with the with the Bambi right here, I feel like she just wants peace and calm. I want to say the internet has. I want to say she forgot. Cause remember, this is in the reverse right here. This is in the reverse. I want to say that this woman or this man forgot who they were on the inside, trying to obtain. Like love. I do feel like this person does want love and was trying to obtain love. But I want to say that they forgot who they were and adapted themselves to some to this new age, this new technology conditioning and shit. Um, there's no love in it. There's no emotional stability in it. There's no marriage, no commitment in this shit. And that could be very much so why whoever this is mentally knows like I forgot who I was and reconditioned myself in this new age technology of dating and shit. And only thing this is 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 hurting hurt people hurting people. That's all this shit is. You know? And it looks like It looks like from what I'm seeing here that the person that is in this energy is really wanting to go back to who they originally were. I, 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 I don't feel... 
I really don't feel a strong emotional thing with the two options here. I don't feel that at all. I want to say that this person is trying to move away from both of these people and invited them to the party to see, like, who's going to leave. Because I know once both of them find out about each other, I know once the both of them find out about each other, they're both not going to stick around. One may be stick around, but, or shit, both of them may leave. But it don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want people to know the truth and where I stand like if I really wanted to be with Apple one of y'all the other one wouldn't be there so clearly that's the truth I like I'm just fucking we just fucking both of y'all are fucking headache I really do feel like both of y'all are fucking headache let me see what this is the nine of fucking space I'm trying to tell you like this is like some type of backstab betrayal like dishonesty like people are like very tit for tat and very petty arguments. It says then hand round the plump what? Then hand round the plum cake monster. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Then hand round the plum cake monster. What the fuck does that mean, bruh? What the fuck? See, sometimes them <laughs> calls. I be like, what the hell does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, bruh? Again, like I feel like the lion is trying to understand you. Like I, I'm, I'm having a hard, a hard time trying to understand you. Trying to make sense of what you're offering to me it just really seems like nonsense to me it's like nothing you're saying makes sense why in the fuck would i want to eat a plum cake it sounds disgusting like it's just like a big disappointment here it's just like what now what the fuck are you talking what who eats plum cake girl is that chocolate ice or uh, you said a plum cake you bought me this for my birthday are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This bitch is the dumbest. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like someone, is it just a pure fucking disappointment? Like, you're a disappointment. You're a disappointment. Like, I don't even know why I bought you here. I really kind of bought you here so everybody else can see how stupid you are and the stupid shit you do. Why do I feel like somebody is... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Help me off. Oh, what is this? This is the king of hearts in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you this is a man. This is a, a water sign man. This is a Scorpio man. Yeah. I'm so serious. Like, God, he said he feels like someone is a fucking imbecile. Like, you are so... Stupid. Like... God, I hate saying that. Why the fuck does this person feel like this about this person? But it's like she was the only one that even tried to bring a cake to the party. It's... Uh, this girl means well. This girl means well and she really has a good heart. I feel like whoever this girl is, she really just doesn't pay attention to you. And like... I don't know if this girl is like younger than you or something because I am seeing like an older, uh, kind of a more mature man and kind of a younger girl. Like, I feel like she gets on your nerves in regards to her level of maturity. I don't think that she's dumb. I think that you're dumb because why in the fuck are you talking to someone that is not on your intellectual level and then... I, I don't like that. But anyway, let me see what the fuck he's saying. He said, consider, my dear. She is only a child. I just said that. Didn't I just say that? It said, consider, my dear. She is only a child. Get the fuck, young. Like, get all the way the fuck away from me right now. Like, y'all gonna stop playing with me. Please stop. Please the fuck. Please the fuck, young. Do you see the older? Listen, do you see the, the, the queen, the real queen? I really do feel like this is a third party. I mean, it does a third party situation. There is this man. He already got like an old lady. Look, he already got an old lady. And she telling him like, I know, like, I know this is not who you cheating on me with. Like, she's only a fucking child. Like, of course 
you going to think like she's stupid or whatever. Like she's not even our fucking, like what? 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 He looks scared for her. Look, look, he looks scared for her. Look, his old lady done, <laughs> done found out about the little young joint. You see how scared he looks so nervous about bitch, bitch, bitch. It's like, man, I, I was just like, yo, this, this king is a petty manipulative motherfucker. And he did this shit on purpose. Like, I swear to God. Oh, I swear to God. He did this shit on purpose. He like, I'm about to knock. I'm about to get rid of all of y'all all at the same time. What is this? The Madre of Water. So I definitely, listen, this is like a Scorpio man dealing with a water sign woman. Or if she's not a water sign woman, like this woman is extremely insecure. Like she's insecure. She's moody. She's emotional. She's clingy. Um, huh, like, Like, things are just very touchy with her. Like, a lot of conversations could easily trigger her into anger. It can, like, trigger this woman into rage. Or it could, like... I just feel like this woman is, like, so sensitive. Like, she's so sensitive. What does it say? Oats? Oats. And then you see how the... um. The drinking cup is a shark tail. Like, I'm serious. I, I feel like whoever this woman's emotion, whoever this woman is emotionally, I want to say, uh, can be emotionally volatile. Um, and oats is something like, if you, imagine like, okay, that's just like what they say, um, Al Green wife he was cheating on her he was cheating on her and she threw some hot grits on this nigga imagine someone throwing some hot grits or some hot oatmeal on you bitch that shit ain't coming off that shit sticks and it slides bitch it sticks and it slides see i think oatmeal might be a little bit worse than grits because you could throw some grits on someone but it might stick and stay bitch no oatmeal gonna stick and slide bitch you bitch it's gonna stick and slide girl I hope y'all not getting mad and, 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 and throwing old hot oatmeal and shit on niggas. God damn. Like, shit. God damn. But it's just, I really do feel like whoever this woman is, she's definitely older. She's older than this one over here. And she is definitely petty and vindictive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely petty and vindictive. This could be the Scorpio woman that's feeling like this. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. It's not, I'm trying to, it's not her. It's not her. It is some man. I want to say this is the water sign man, the king of hearts in the reverse. I want to say he's just annoyed by the women in his life. He doesn't love anybody. Right now, he's just using people for sex. And he wants to get rid of everybody at the same time. He ain't hiding this shit no more. He's introducing everybody to each other at this motherfucking party. Everyone is getting an invitation. You get an invitation. You get an invitation. You, all of the side bitches, all of them, all triggers. He want all three of you right here. All three of you right here, okay? Because the queen needs to see the duchess. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he's getting back at the queen because at the end of the day, she might not be as mentally equipped and smart as us, but she bad. She's sexy. Look at, look, look at the queen, big face ass, and look at the duchess. Of course she's going, ooh, this a petty ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> Bitch, I'm scared. The judgment. I told you, didn't I tell you the judgment? All of you motherfuckers being called to goddamn court. All of you, all three of you. I'm about to put judgment on all of your hoes. All of you hoes. Who painted roses red? She painted roses red. I'm serious. All, listen, and it is three. All three of you. I don't know if this person is dating three different individuals. Three different individuals, but... All of you guys are being invited to the party. All of you are going to be addressed. All of you are going to know each other. And all of you guys are going to know where you stand when you leave here. Let's see. The, fi <laughs> the 
five of diamonds in the reverse. Listen, this motherfucker's trying to slay the Jabberwocky. My baby Jabberwocky. My, my, my Jabba baby walkie. Okay, bitch. <laughs> Alice killed my Jabba baby walkie. <laughs> my Jabba baby walkie. He said, beware of the Jabba walkie, my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. He is very fucking, uh, um, I'm very aware of the Jabba baby walkie. He, uh, he knows about the Jabba baby walkie. Okay, he knows about the Queen's Jabba baby walkie. Is it, did y'all see, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, this reading is taking me the fuck out. Um, did y'all see the Alice in Wonderland, the one with Johnny Depp and shit, and the queen with the big head and shit, and that's where I'm getting it. My job baby walking. That's where I'm getting that from, bitch. I gotta take a sip of wine. Y'all is playing with me today, bitch. Oh, my God. We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. Y'all. The Five of Diamonds is like when someone is realizing as above, so below. Like, it's like, it's, it's either this person is like literally trying to cleanse the slate, like seriously, because they know that they're being judged. You know what I'm saying? It may be that all of the, I feel like this is. Karma, you know what I'm saying? Because the five of diamonds can most definitely mean karma. You know what I'm saying? And this person knows that the Jabba baby walkie is coming to slay them. Because this person has been fucking over the queen. But I don't think he likes the queen. I don't feel like he likes the queen. I don't feel like he wants to be with the queen. Like, he wants the queen to know, like, you're too clingy. You're too emotional. Like... I'm tired of keep going through these phases and these stages is with you. Um, I even want to feel like this, whoever this person is, forgot who they were in a relationship or just. And, it, and it's like, I got to go back to who I originally was. Like, I got to go back to who I originally was. Um. They just said, I can't let her take control over me no more. I want to say that this, this person was a cheater in the past. And forgot about that. And really tried to change their ways. Um, but now I'm getting like this person which just keep getting these extreme, extreme level text messages. Probably this woman constantly, constantly still accusing him of shit because she's still insecure want to be with him every step of everywhere he goes like this person can't breathe like that's what i'm getting it's like even when i'm stepping away from you from my home you still text me i can't even fucking breathe like you you want to talk to me while i'm driving to work like i just have it's just i don't know it's like this person needs air this person needs space and i feel like this person wanted to write a note and let's keep it 100 like nigga still was cheating you still was cheating like so I don't feel like this woman, her insecurity was coming out of nowhere. I want to say that the true truth is. Truth is, I never would have let you go. Truth is. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, I don't even know the words of, to, to that song. That faith, um, no, that's not faith. That's Fantasia. Truth is. Oh, my gosh. I got to look up the words now. Hold on. I gotta look up the words. Hold on. Truth is. Fantasia Truth is lyrics. Oh. Ooh. Is this what happened? It said, I ran into an old friend yesterday. Look, the judgment and the truth. Caught me by surprise when he called my name. He was a familiar face from a chapter in my past. Talked for a while, I smiled and then said that he was seeing somebody and told me this was going to laugh, showing me her photograph. Ooh! And all the feelings I thought were gone came rushing back to me at once. I tried to smile and hide the way I felt. But I was thinking to myself, the truth is, 
I never got over you. I wish I was standing in her shoes. And when it's all said and done, I guess I'm still in love with you. The truth is, I never should have let you go. It's killing me because now I know when it's all said and done, I guess I'm still in love with you. We reminisced on the way things used to be. Share a couple laughs, some memories. Talked about the things that changed, some for the good and some for the bad. Then he said goodbye and he paid for lunch. Promised that we always keep in touch. Grabbed my bags and grabbed my thoughts. Walked away and that was that. Ooh. 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 Mm. Mm. It's somebody from this person's past. Truth is. Is that why this person wants to leave? Is that why this person wants to leave? Because I'm trying to tell you, it's like this person is going to go through the same thing over and over and over again with this woman, whoever they're with, this current headache, like whatever the situation is, it's like, it's too emotional, it's too insecure. This person wants to leave, like this person is tired of the drama. This person is tired of the drama. I feel like that's probably why they were cheating. Like, this person has been mentally moved away from this situation and went back to who they were. That's the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Five of Diamonds. Let me tell y'all about what the Five of Diamonds meant. I was trying to tell y'all what that meant before I got into my Jabba baby walk in and all this other shit um, and singing the truth is the Five of Diamonds. Five of diamonds mean karmic patterns. I told you cause and effect. Magnetic attraction. Law of attraction. Thoughts that create experience. Charisma. Animal magnetism. Sexuality. Personal space. Local area. A home and environment. Furniture. Large possession. Possessions or property. Speech. The act of speaking. An argument. A legal judgment or a court case. The city life. And this is right under judgment. You understand? So like I told you. Um, whoever this Scorpio is, they're calling judgment on this relationship with this woman, with this other water sign woman, or after this woman is too emotional, too clingy, or too insecure. Um, I want to say that there is most definitely somebody from their past that they might have just bumped into on a whim. And then even now, I'm listening to the words of that song. I feel like this is this individual looking online, looking at that person that they bumped into that they ain't seen in a long time. Remember, they said that it was a familiar face and said that whoever they with right now could be the one and showed the person pictures and shit. And then that's when it hit them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck am I doing with her? I should have been with you. How the fuck did I let... Look. How the fuck did I, how did I let you get away from me? And because, like, this person wasn't shit in the past. I'm trying to tell you. This person wasn't doing right. I want to say that this person has commitment issues. This person tried to forget who they were in the past. And try to do the right thing in this current situation. But it's, it's still a present nightmare. As above, so below. Like I said, karmic patterns. If you started out in shit, it's going to continue being in shit. So, if you started out like this, dating younger girls, you, you don't even feel like they're intellectually on your level. And I feel like this, this your old lady, she's insecure because she see you fucking around with all these other girls. But like I told you, it's, it's three people. This person bumped into somebody from their past. Didn't get intimate with them or nothing. It was just a conversation. But it just made this person reflect on everything that has been done thus far. And they really want to leave. Like, they really, really do. With the six of air and cattails. Cattail. Hmm. Cattail. Isn't that funny? The eight of cups. I'm trying to tell you, like, this person is walking away 
from this madre of water, from this water sign, or whoever this individual is. Definitely walking away from this person. Most definitely walking away from this person. I, I, I don't... I don't feel like there's anything left other than sex, and I don't even think that they want that. It's like when pigs fly. You know what I'm saying? Like, when pigs fly. Like, this person is, like, emotionally over it. It's done. It's gone. Listen, the seven of clubs. <laughs> you see this person walking away and sticking their tongue out like, nigga, fuck you. Aha, fuck you. Like, it says, twas brilliant. And the slithering trolls degree the gramble in the wall. Like, literally, this makes no fucking sense whatsoever. So I feel like this person is walking away and it's not making sense to anybody. I want to say like this person just leaves. But does the, like the seven of clubs is like when it's a tough situation and it's like you just having to do what you got to do. Like it's like you, 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 you got to do what you got to do to kind of work things out. You know what I'm saying? And if the right thing to do right now, it's like, that's a that's a kind of like overworking yourself. Like, overworking yourself. Overkill. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person may have kind of like, woo! What is... God damn, Matt, try that shit scared the fuck out of me. Um, this person could have exhausted every avenue that they could have possibly think of to make things work. And the best decision for everyone is to put everything out on the table and walk away. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like this person is coming back, especially to whoever this madre of water is. Whoever this, this clingy emotional wreck ass person is like they're not coming back to that they're not coming back to that the seven of clubs and I just want to clarify because I, I want to say this person has done everything that they could but it's just like fuck it now like I'm done it says the increase of activity an increase or change in business or social situation told you like the person okay putting all the effort that they can to, you know what I'm saying? It says physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework, home repairs, or even fixing a car. Attention to detail. Carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action. Keeping busy. The risk of work overload. The need to rest or relaxation. Preoccupied with work. This is a card of a workaholic. Negotiation. Disagreement. An argument. Or feelings of restlessness and discomfort. Taking on too much. Making the best of a difficult situation. You understand? But it means increasing activity. I mean, I definitely feel like this person is assessing everything. I feel like this person definitely assessed everybody. Even their self. Truth is, I never got over you. Truth is, I never should have let you go and all of this shit. I really, really do feel like this, man. Whoever this is, it was, it's karma. Like, I feel like where they're at in their present situation, it's all karma. It's all karma because. And now I'm getting this, like, are you forgetting who you are? And not realizing how things got this way. So it's like, you are in a present headache and you got this, you mentally walking away and emotionally walking away. You doing what you need to do to make sure that you can separate yourself from everyone. You're being called to judgment. You know what I'm saying? Not only are you judging yourself, you're judging everybody else. I feel like, you know, if you continue down this path with this person, it's just going to get deeper. Things are going to get physical. Things are going to get violent because I really do feel like whoever your old lady is, She's getting tired of putting up with all these younger girls that you be cheating on her with. I mean, because you do be cheating. You most definitely do be cheating. I want to say that she stops, but because she kept getting accused of it, it's like, shit, I might as well keep doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Period. 
Bottom line. Bottom line. Um, I do want to. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, okay. We can do that. We're going to get some additional guidance here. I do have the shadow cards here. And then I also have my love deck. So, what's going to be the outcome in love for the Scorpios in this current situation right here? Give me four cards. That's it. Again, they're saying you forget, you forgot who you were and why everything came to you this way. Why everything had to go down this way is because like of who you were in the beginning. You try to forget who you were and try to change, but once you initiate a certain type of energy to the universe, it has to complete itself before it can regenerate itself, and you can start anew. So it's like I really want to say you had to close this chapter. Ooh, there's too many damn cards. I'm gonna pick them. Two at the top, two at the bottom. Thank you. Hammer. The Phoenix. Dragonfly and healthy choices. All right. So, again, like this is being hammered into your head right now that it's time for transformation. I mean, both of these, both of these cards right here. I believe the dragonfly. It says, "Be lighthearted, finding out things come into light, adapt, change, and heal." The phoenix means new phases, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a change of mind. And even this saying healthy choices, making healthy choices in, in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So what this is basically saying, like, this, I want to say like, this is like a decade worth of bullshit that is coming to a close right now. It couldn't have happened any other way. Um, I don't know if y'all seen that movie Fantasy Island. And it's like you have a dream or a wish. But it has to naturally play out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this person's wish was to be a player or something like that. And this is the way that wish or that dream is naturally playing out. It's playing out like this. Like this chapter of your life is over. I think you realize... As above, so below. What comes out of situations like this when you have so much going on. That's why I don't feel like this person isn't getting any more emotional fulfillment. Because it's like once you destroy a woman and she's insecure, she's moody, you know, she's careful about everything. She, she can't relax. Like once you destroy a woman like that, it's like you can't get who she was back. It's like you can't get who she was back. And... The judgment did not proclaim any victory for this person. The judgment for this person was looking at everything they caused, like lo looking at the brutal truth of the situation, honoring the truth, doing right by the truth, fixing it, walking away and making healthy choices, like literally having to transform. I don't, I don't feel like going into the future that this person is going to be who they were in the past, who they are presently, they are going to be completely changed. Completely changed. Like this is going to be a new chapter for this person. Um, let's see what's going on in the shadow with this individual. Um, other than like, what does this person... I do want to see the shadow and I do want to see current wishes. Hold on. Current wishes and desires. Do I want this one? Yeah, I can use this one. Alright. So, what's going on in the shadow? And then let's see what the current wishes and desires is for this person that they need to focus on. What's going on in the shadows that this person needs to release? Clearly, this transformation. 
is being hammered into this person. This person needs to assert their self and stand up to the consequences of this reality for, that they created for themselves. And it looks like that's what they're doing. What's going on in the shadow that this person needs to... Ooh. Okay. You got the forceful card, and then you got the pain card in the in the reverse. But this was in, this was like this though. So I want to say right now, I want to say it's hard because they're forcing themselves to deal with the pain that they have caused, not only um, for themselves but for other people. Because remember, I was saying like once you destroy a woman like he destroyed whoever this fuck this is like this this woman will always live with that insecurity and that hurt unless she does what she needs to do to heal herself and work on herself i'm not saying she won't always be like that but some women are like if they don't go through their soul's journey some of them are stuck like that for the rest of their life but that's on them to find their own healing you know what i'm saying but this is something that this person deals with. It's just like I bought so many, so much pain on people. I feel like this person is scared of their karma. It's just like I don't, I don't want none of that type of pain that I inflicted on other people to come back on me. It's like this person is being forced to look at. I've actually had like really decent women in my life and I fucked over all of them and the ones I currently have in my life I fucked over them too but I, I don't even it's like I'm not happy I really feel like that it's like I'm not happy it's like this person was self-sabotaging you know that's why I'm trying to tell you that the five of diamonds is Karmic patterns, as above, so below. It's like this is being hammered into this person's head. Listen, sabotage, rebuilds, and interrogation. This person is being interrogated by the. This person is having to answer judgment. God wants him to see what you did. You played with her. You played with her. Shit, you eat. You look, look. You, you even play with you even play with the you even play with the other one with the Fantasia song, but she was smart enough and left, and can talk to you without any judgment or grudge. You know what I'm saying? These other ones are gonna have a grudge, cause I even feel like the petty way or even how all of this came out, it was messy. But it's like you didn't know what else to do. Because I'm really feeling like some people found out about each other because of a party or something like that. Like, everybody got invited to the same shit and they found out about each other. But it's like you're presently working on it. It's like you're having to face. You're having to face it. It's being forced. And it's like... It's like the wolf hollering at the moon. It's like... Animal... It's like your animal nature or something like that. Um, the wolves can't help but to holler at the moon. It's their animal nature. It's like the moon is out and you're being called. You're being pulled to it because it's just like the judgment. You know what I'm saying? You're being called. You're being pulled to speak up, to answer for some of these actions. And it's like, it's like. You're forcing you. It's like, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. But it's like, no, you, you got to answer to this shit, bro. You got to answer to this shit. So this is what's going on in the shadows. All right. So let's see. Last two cards. Let's see what's going on. In the hopes and wishes and the hearts of the Scorpio. And again, y'all take the energy how it resonates. Y'all know it could be vice versa. 
It could be you. It could be the energy of the person that you're dealing with. You know, a lot of people cross watch and stuff like that. So, you know, take it how it resonates. You know how the story fits in your life. And if it doesn't fit in your life, like I always tell you, do not try to force stories that do not fit. Listen for the entertainment and for you to learn from other people's stories. You know what I'm saying? That's just like when we watch soap operas or we watch Wendy Williams and stuff. We're being entertained by other people's stories and we're learning from whatever is being discussed. So, okay, we got pride and ego. Okay. We got pride and ego and we got mute. Okay. So... I feel like your current wish right now, um, I feel like you cannot see, you can't presently see whoever this is, is that you're desiring. You can't see this person. They're not talking to you. I'm serious. It's like some somebody moved the fuck on from whoever, whoever this person is that truth is i never got over you that whoever that is to this person it's like fucking with their pride and their ego right now because they can't talk to this person they can't see this person and they want to they want to they want to they want to mm. Let me do one more. I'm so fucking nosy, y'all. <laughs> y'all probably gonna have a two hour long reading. <laughs> and I bet you, the majority of y'all watched every minute of this shit, too. Let's see. Offer in the middle. Okay, we got an offer. Alright. They gotta be a balance of the dark and the light. So come on now. Let's see. We got offer. What's this? Secondary offer. Mm. Damn it, son. Damn it. Damn it. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't life a bitch? Ain't life a bitch? So it seems like after it's all said and done, when I said karma is a bitch, karma is a bitch. Because uh, whoever this person is that has this into whoever this man is because this is a male energy or if they like this is a male energy whoever this is that this person is tripping on uh the one that their pride and ego isn't letting them reach out to this person because whoever whoever this person that they really want and that they're wishing and they're desiring for their pride and ego is fucking them up because that person has muted them blocked them they can't see them they can't talk to them they can't touch them they can't nothing you understand not a motherfucking thing and currently at the present moment even if they could speak to this person their often their offer would be a secondary offer the same offer that they presented to each and every one of these people when it was their when <laughs> hold on when it's like when the shoe was on the other foot I'm trying to say oh when the offer was on the table so it was like when the offer was on the table for them this is what he give he gave all of these women he gave everyone secondary offers because there was always third parties. Like this person was a player. Bottom line. It wasn't. This person wasn't giving anyone any emotional security. It was really just about sex and nothing else. You understand? Like so. Now that you finally trying to get yourself together. And you trying to fix your karmic patterns. And you trying to get rid of the people that you really don't want to be with. Because the truth is I never got over you. And you, you know you're leaving all of this shit away. And you're walking away to only get a secondary offer. You get what you give. Yeah. You get what you give. Yeah. Bleep, bleep, that's all, folks. So that's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that this resonated for somebody. I know that this is somebody's story that I'm telling. All right? 
This is somebody's story that I'm telling and I ain't selling. Okay, so listen. I'm going to be out. If this video resonated for y'all, hit that like sub button. If you guys want a personal and private reading, y'all know what to do. Check me out on Instagram. The link is in this description box. And if it's not, which it should be, um, check out the About tab on my YouTube page, which has all of the booking information, all the donation information. If these videos resonated for you this literally told your story and gave you clarity into what's going on and what you need to do y'all want to support y'all go ahead and support um one of the best ways to support me is to check out that amazon wish list so um thank you guys again i love you peace